Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today we're going to take a look and do a review on Metacat USB. This is a great tool that you can boot from a USB stick. It has multi functions built in, whether you're diagnosing a PC or troubleshooting, or maybe you're trying to recover from ransomware or do a virus scan, or maybe some diagnostics on memory or hard disk, or maybe you forgot your password and you need to get into a Windows computer and you don't know the password. You name it, this tool does just about everything. Before we dive in guys, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free to you if you didn't know that and it really helps me out because I am trying to grow the channel and your support is very much appreciated. All right guys, today we are using an HP laptop. So we're gonna go ahead and do a boot from USB. In order to do that, we're gonna reboot the laptop and we're gonna hit the F9 key. Maybe different on your computer, you need to look that up, how to access the boot menu. Uh, you may need to get into BIOS on your computer as well to enable uh, different boot settings to get in, but for the most part, just access your boot menu and then select the USB drive. So let's jump right in here, guys. All right, so I've hit F9. As you see at the bottom left there, we are entering the boot menu, and now I'm going to select the USB drive. All right, we've done that. Now we're just waiting for this to load up into memory. This is a 64 gigabyte USB 2.0 drive, so it's not the fastest in the world, but it was relatively, relatively inexpensive, excuse me. All right, so here we are at Medicat. You can see there are many different tools, antivirus, backup and recovery, boot repair, diagnostic tools. You've got a category for live operating systems, partition tools, password removal, and even Windows Recovery. This is Tree View, guys, so this is more like the different uh, categories, if you will. So if we look at antivirus, I think Medicat only has a single one that's built in here, guys. It's gonna be Malwarebytes, which is a very good tool. Wish they would have included a second or third choice as well, but hey, you know, is what it is. We've got Malwarebytes. Backup and Recovery, several utilities included under that category. I won't list them all, but there's a few here. Uh, Cronus Cyber Backup. We've got Aomi Backer Upper. I've used this one before. Ease Us Data Recovery Wizard. Ease Us to do backup. And so on and so forth, guys. There's quite a few here. So if you're looking for a utility to backup and or recover data, you've got quite the variety and quite the selection to do so. By the way guys, I am trying something new. Oh, there's a couple clone tools there at the bottom too. You see RescueZilla and Semantic Ghost. Familiar with both those. Trying something new here guys. Since the kids are in the house a lot, I'm doing a voiceover after the fact. So let me know how it comes out. Okay, boot repair. We have multiple options. We have boot it bare metal. We have boot repair disk. We have easy UEFI. We have Rescatux. And then we have the Super Grub 2 disk. All right, guys, going back to the main menu, we have a lot of diagnostic tools here as well. We have the HDA T2. This will allow you to uh, diagnose USB SATA devices. MemTest 86. This will be on legacy BIOS devices. You can do a memory test. This is going to be the same thing, Passmark, but on new UEFI systems. And then we have Spinrite. I haven't used that one, but it looks like it's for mechanical hard drives. And then the Ultimate Boot CD. If you want to get in there and have multiple tools, that's the one. Next one we have, guys, is Live Operating Systems. It comes with three built-in. I believe you can drop other ISOs in there. You have the Active Data Studio, Mini Windows 10, boot into a Windows 10 live environment, and a System Rescue ISO. So again, I think you can drop more in there, and then they would appear under that um, part of the tree view. Okay, so for partitioning tools, we have quite a few here as well. Kronos, I've used this one. Aomi, I've also used that one. We have Disk Genius, Ease Us, Ease US or Ease Us Partition Master. I believe I've used that one. Mini Tool Partition Wizard. I have not used that one. I don't think I've used any of the rest of these. Shred OS, I am familiar with one. This is a DOD style wipe where it'll make 
multiple passes and write zeros to the hard drive to ensure that your data is completely wiped out. I'll probably do a video on something like that in the future, guys. A lot of people don't know when you delete a file, it's not really gone. Password removal. There's a single utility, but this utility I have booted into it. It's called uh, JRose Lockpick. It comes with a lot of different tools. It's pretty nice. So you can remove, reset, recover passwords in a Windows environment. So here's a Windows recovery, and this has a Windows 8, 10, and 11 recovery environments. So if you need to boot into a recovery environment, that's your uh, subject in the tree view there. So let's go ahead and boot into the live operating system. Let's take a look at the mini Windows 10. This is really cool. Built in, boots into a Windows 10 environment, and it has a lot of built-in tools right inside of this thing. So we'll give it a moment to boot up here, guys. Okay, guys, that took a second to load the files. Now we see my HP splash screen here. Like I said, I'm using a, a USB 2.0, so not the fastest thing in the world, but you know what? Gets the job done. Really good price on eBay. All right, guys, so it's gonna load the uh, mini Windows 10. Again, really cool environment. It's gonna load that up into memory here. We'll give it a second. It's gonna elevate to administrator or log in as administrator to that mini environment. And let's give this a second to get fully loaded up, guys. All right, so it's done its thing. If you see on the right here, it loads a ton of tools built in. You have BIOS and UFI tools or utilities built in. We've got a lot of different disk tools. And I mean a lot of them, guys. Look at all these. This is all baked into that mini Windows 10 environment. So if you need to do some disk utility or disk uh, configuration, there's more than enough options there. And then you've got a driver's category. If you get bored, you can play some games. We've got graphics and pictures. You've got hardware tools for diagnostics and testing. We've got some imaging tools. If you need to do anything with images, maybe you need to clone a drive, burn a drive, whatever the case may be. We've got some installing Windows tools here. You can uh, do a Win11 install. You can do a ISO downloader of Windows. You can do Win to HDD, Win to USB. There's a whole lot of stuff. I'm not familiar with all these, but there's a lot. Some internet tools here, AnyDesk, which is a remote desktop or a remote assistance type of tool. OpenVPN, Putty, BitTorrent, Wireshark, WinSCP, a whole bunch of stuff, guys. We've got some office categories, and then we've got a lot of ransomware decryption, which is really cool. I would be curious to know how well these work. I'm guessing these are for formal, formerly cracked um, cases of ransomware where people have shared the keys here. Very nice, though. A nice set of those. You've got some registry tools, and then we've got a category for security with quite a, quite a few tools. Excuse me. And then we just have some general utilities there. Auto run, 7-zip, convert, error lookups, process explorer, quite a few good ones in there guys. And these are all baked in again to that, to just one of many utilities that comes burned in that uh, Medicat USB. So this is a subset of a subset of utilities. Very impressive. I'm going to have to take some more time to really jump into these guys, but let me know if there's something in particular you're wanting to see for now we're going to go ahead and do a restart from that mini windows 10 and that'll take us back to what well, we'll boot back into our usb again so we'll give this a second here guys i hit f9 now i'm jumping into that boot menu once that loads up we'll boot back into our usb drive and that'll take us back to the home screen of the uh, medicat <clears throat> here we are guys so if you see at the bottom there, there are some options, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, and F7. Those are additional options that give you some more information. Uh, some of them give you different views and things like that. So we can take a look at those. F1 is going to be help, so we'll check that out. That's going to give you an idea of what F2, F3, F4, F5, all these different things do. Like we said, guys. Guys, F1 is the help file or the help information. It's going to tell us what the rest of those options at the bottom do, as well as can include some control plus key commands where you can get into some additional information and additional menus. So that was F1. Let's take a look at F2. So F2 is going to be um, browse and boot files in the local disk. So if you wanted to boot to Windows or something like that, you could. F3 
is going to be switching the menu mode between tree view and list view. And then F4 is going to be boot Windows or Linux on the local disk. So we can search for and boot using the F4 option. And then if we look at F5, that's going to be utilities. So we've got different things here in the utilities menu. We can go back to the main there. If we look at F6, that's going to load the custom Grub2 menu. So we've got some more options here. This is a custom menu. This will give you a change log, any questions, list of bootable tools, just a different way to access some of the utilities. And then F7, last but not least, is how you switch between the GUI and the text mode menus. So if we hit F7 again, we'll jump back to the GUI. So that is really it, guys. I want to do a high-level recap, or I'm sorry, overview of MetaCat bootable USB, which I think is a very impressive tool in 2023. One of the best. Again, is it the best? We're not sure. We're just starting this series. We're going to look at at least three, maybe four different bootable USB solutions. And I'll probably put up a survey in the community tab <clears throat> to let you guys vote on which one you think is the best. This one, I won't lie, guys, is very impressive. A free tool. It has a lot of things built in. So I want to get your guys' opinion on what you think about it. Let me know. And if you haven't seen the video on how to build this, it's really simple. I'll link it at the end of this video on how to build the USB for MetaCat. Like I said, very straightforward. All you need is at least a 32 gig flash drive. And I have a step-by-step -step tutorial that walks you through the entire process. So I highly encourage you guys to check that out. And that way you can follow along with this with your own USB when you're doing the review yourselves and then you can give me some feedback and let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I'm reaching that 1000 and I appreciate all the support I can get guys. Have a great day and until the next video, take care.